वेलकम बैक टू टेन स्लाइड इनफो फॉर दि फर्स्ट टाइम द एर बस सी टू नाइंटी फाइव मीडियम टैक्टिकल ट्रांसपोर्ट एयरक्राफ्ट विल बी मैनुफैक्चर्ड आउट साइड ऑफ यूरोप एंड दैट टू इन इंडिया बूस्टिंग द मेक इन इंडिया विशन डिफेंस सेक्रेटरी अजय कुमार अनौंसड ऑन अक्टोबर ट्वेंटी सेवन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दैट सी टू नाइंटी फाइव ऑफ एयर बस विच इज अ ट्रांसपोर्ट एयरक्राफ्ट अ मैनुफैक्चरिंग फेसिलिटी विल बी कमिंग अप इन वडोदरा इन गुजरात The foundation laying ceremony for setting up the facility will be held on October 30th, 2022, and it will be attended by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This ceremony will also be attended by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Civil Aviation Minister Jyoti Raditya, and Gujarat Chief Minister Bhupendra Bhai Patel, among others. In September 2021, the Cabinet Committee on Security approved the deal of 56 Airbus C-295W aircrafts. and out of these 56 16 aircrafts will be delivered in a fly away condition from spain and the remaining 40 aircrafts will be manufactured in india by tata advanced systems limited which is as part of industrial partnership between airbus and tata if we use a rough calculation the first batch of 16 c295 of airbus will be delivered by airbus in a fly away condition by 2025 and the 40 planes which is going to be made at vadodara plant in gujarat will be delivered by 2031 tentatively it is expected that the upcoming plant will deliver eight aircrafts per year this upcoming facility in gujarat will cater to export of the airbus c295 aircrafts to other countries and as well as for additional orders from the indian air force in future The main reason behind procuring these Airbus C295 transport aircrafts is to replace the aging Avro 748 planes of the Indian Air Force. It is also said that these Airbus C295 will also be replacing the Antonov AN32 which is a military transport aircrafts. So let's expect this upcoming facility is set up at the earliest and Indian Air Force gets to operate these transport aircrafts of Airbus at the earliest. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainsley Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.